eggs, please. Lee, you got some money? Hey, Tony, you got some money, Lee? You a millionaire? You a millionaire. That's all I want to know. Are you a millionaire? Are you a millionaire is what I want to know. Since you want me to show you stuff, listen, you got to have money for women to show you stuff. Well, if you're a thousandaire, that's not enough. I need a million dollars. So I need you to be a millionaire, not a thousandaire. Okay? So when you get uh, some more change, then we can talk. Other than that, you know what I mean? Other than that, sayonara. Good on you, my dear. I know good on me, because you got to have some chit-chatter for me to show you anything, okay? Now, I am Keita J, if you don't know who I am and who I be. I am Keita J. I'm an entertainer. I'm a custom designer. And those are my lovely designs back here. All of them are not my designs, but they're my t-shirts, okay? Some of them are my artistic designs. So I want you guys to make sure that you support an artist, okay? I... How about a glimpse of one of the puppies? No, no, no. You can take a glimpse of these t-shirts back here, uh, Lee. That's what you could do. You could take a glimpse of those, and you could go make a purchase on www.exist-in-nature.com. That's what you could do. How about that? How about supporting people instead of looking for breasts? Because you won't get no milk over here, okay? I'm all out. As a matter of fact, my baby took, it, took everything. Everything. My baby took it all from me. Okay? What's up, El Rose? How are you? Um, my baby took all of the milk. So that is what my milk was for. My milk was for my babies. So I have no milk available for Lee. Lee, it's all gone. It's dried up. Well, then you better go to the grocery store. I'm sorry you couldn't make it today. I don't know what happened, but you need to make it there like ASAP. I, Keita J, can't help you with that, okay? Okay, now we got another troll talking about big ass. Who big? Who big? Anyway, to my message, okay? I have, um, we're talking about the subject today. I know, I'm a fat BBW. Thank you so much. I love that. You're so wonderful, egg. You come back, you're going to get blocked. Um, okay, so we're talking about aging today, right? I have my July Essence magazine. Blood out. Who is this young thing right here? Who is this young? Who is this young and sexy, bald head? That young and sexy thing right there. Y'all see that sexy thing? How is that that sexist? How is that sexist? Anyway, we're talking about aging, right? There's an article in the July Ebony magazine, which came this week. I don't know why, because I'm not no longer subscribed to um, Ebony magazine. So Ebony magazine felt as though the need to send me an ode, okay? To sit, hold on, hold on, wait a minute. Hold on for a minute. Hold on for a moment. Okay, now, now we can continue. So Ebony Magazine sent me um, a magazine. Regardless if it's old or not, I say thank you, Ebony Magazine. So there was an article in the Ebony Magazine that I felt interested in, and I feel like talking about it. It's about aging. Tell me, how do you guys feel about aging? Do you guys Are you guys scared? Are you guys scared to go to the next age? Like, I know some people look at it like I'm 10 years, I'm 10 years younger. I feel like I'm like 20 years younger, okay? I am 41, I feel like I'm 20 because no one can ever guess my age. So I feel like, I feel so great about my age that, hey, it's nothing that I can say. I feel young. What do you mean I'm never 41? I am 41. I'm 41 years old, Lee. Thank you very much. But no one can ever guess my age. When I tell people how old I am, because